Hey, 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 hey there. Oh my God, I am so excited to be sitting and chatting with you today. You have reached Temple Transformation TV and I am your host and your curator, Stephanie Wilson. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys this particular topic because it has been a roller coaster ride, guys, let me tell you. So just to make sure you're in the right place, if you are looking for you know, rationale or reasoning behind why someone would choose um, a breast augmentation or a breast lift or a mommy makeover or any type of cosmetic surgery, then I just want to share with you my story as quickly as I possibly can. I'm literally sitting in front of my couch and I'm just, I was trying to find a place and I was like, you know what? And spirit just said, sit on the floor, be authentic and go. So my journey actually started, my physical journey actually started two years ago. So if you've done any research about me, uh, my formula is a three-prong formula. So I believe that spiritual growth plus emotional management plus weight loss is how you get a total transformation because I'm not just interested in helping my clients look fine. I want them to be fine. I want them to be better people on the process to becoming the, their best selves and living in their best bodies. Why? Because that's what I've done. I've become a better person, which makes me be able to handle the new body and handle the new blessings that come with it. So I'm much more interested in the process of growth than I am with, you know, helping you become this super fine goddess. Although that is probably what will happen if you become my client. Because I know what to do. Because as of this recording, I have lost 127 pounds. Whoa, you're like, Stephanie, you're lying. Go to my website, templetransformation360.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You will see three to four of my transformation pictures. So back to my story. Um, I started this process two years ago. And um, it was after my midlife crisis in 15. Lost everything in a span of three days. Relationship, job, everything. Had two kids. I'm a single mom. I was like, what in the heck am I going to do? And um, that was the beginning of the spiritual part. Spirit, God saying, I'm going to be the ruler of your life. And you're going to do it my way. And if that means I have to take everything, I will. And then the emotional management started in 16. Learning how to control my emotions so that they don't get the best of me and I don't make decisions that would ultimately not be the best for me or my family. And then in 18, I literally, y'all, was passing the mirror. I have a full-length mirror that I bought from Ikea like 15 years ago in my bedroom. And I was coming out of the shower and I was naked and I passed by the mirror. And I don't know why that day I hated what I saw. And I'm going to try to get through this without crying. I hated what I saw. I hated who I saw. And I was like, who are you? And what have you done with Stephanie? So one of the things that I really love about being a Pisces is that we have pieces of the entire zodiac sign in our sign. So when I need to pull out my Aries card, when I need to pull out my Taurus card, when I need to pull out my Libra card for justice, when I need to pull out my Cancer card and I'm just going to ball to the wall, when I need to pull out my Leo card, which is my moon, is my strength. When I need to pull those pieces, they're there. I went cold turkey. I, that night, I went ahead, put my clothes on. I sat on the floor, cried. Then I picked myself up like David did in the Bible after his first, after his child with Bathsheba died. First child with Bathsheba died. He prayed and prayed. And when God didn't deliver the baby, the baby died. David got up, cleaned himself, anointed his head, changed his clothes, went back home because he'd been praying in the temple. Went back home to go back to his life. New life, new, new way. I got up, put clothes on. I came downstairs, cleaned out my refrigerator. I threw, a while, I threw away everything that had no nutritional value. Then I went to the pantry. The pantry is what gets us. The pantry is the devil's playground for people who are emotional eaters and people who have food addictions like myself. Yes, I just admitted that I am an emotional eater and I am a food addict. Um, and it took me... This whole process, it's now 2020. At the recording of this video, I started in 2015. And it took me five years to be able to say I am a food addict. Um, and that is what contributed to my unhealthy relationship with food. There were also some 
medical issues that I had because of overeating. But it mainly stemmed from my lack of self-love. I didn't love myself, my lack of self-worth. I went through a period of depression after losing everything. Now, mind you, I'm a praise and worship leader, so I've been preaching and teaching the word of God. But it's interesting that when life happens, sometimes we don't believe the word for ourselves. I went through that, not believing. And I went through a full clinically diagnosed depression. I was taking medicine. So, um, and that's for another video for another day. But cleaned out everything, went to that pantry. That's where all my cakes, pies, cookies, whoo, all my love food was. Apple pies, apple strudels, oatmeal cream pies, all my favorites. And I used to have a particular affinity for Mrs. Baird's Honey Bun. Oh my God, they were my favorite and I would probably knock back two a day. It was like my cigarette. It was like my kryptonite. I threw it all away that day and there was nothing in my pantry and there was nothing but milk eggs some orange juice butter jelly and stuff like that in my refrigerator that's how poor my diet was went to the grocery store the next day and started eating healthy and you're on youtube that's where i learned how to start the process of eating but i had to do some work to understand the difference between anatomy and nutrition and all of these different things and then i just i'm a spiritual being so i just went to spirit and i said show me what to do show me how to eat and that's exactly what i have so my free meal plan uh, for people who want to get my free meal plan um just simply you know go to my website temple transformation 360 there may be a link down at the bottom for that but you can um you know subscribe and get that for free that is what the holy spirit gave me and that is what i did for 90 days along with supplements exercise i drink a guy i started with i started with like four bottles a day and then eventually i got up to a gallon a day which is where i am now and then i started adding physical training i did um you know some body contouring because when you're as big as i was for as long as i was you have skin to contend with which brings us back to why i'm making this video so five minutes of my journey two minutes of my decision skin is why I am doing the breast lift and the tummy tuck. If I hold up my arms, like I have on this tight shirt, so I wear clothes that hide it really, really well. But even as small as I am, if I take this shirt off, look, that's all skin, guys. I'm literally pulling it. That's all skin from being obese for so long. So if I've got this much skin, I'm gripping my arm is really small. So if I've got this much skin on my arm, imagine how much skin I have on my stomach. Imagine how much skin I have on my thighs. Imagine how much skin I have on my back. It's just skin, skin, skin. So I made the decision. Do you want to go back to looking in the mirror and not liking what you see, even after losing over 100 pounds? Or do you want to make a decision that's going to make you feel the best that you feel? I made the decision. I... Um, started off, I had about 10 surgeons that I was looking at, then I narrowed it to five, then I narrowed it to three. I went to three different consultations here in the Houston. The very first consultation I went to, the quote came back at 30,000. I was like, mm, and he said I needed lipo. I was like, I don't have anybody fat. So, went to the second consultation, which was the doctor that I chose, which is Dr. Nico. Walked in, felt warm. Dr. Nico answered my questions. He sat and talked to me on the couch, um, asked me why I wanted to do it, asked me about my lifestyle because he cared about his result because he's like me. While he's in the business of making um, people beautiful and making um, bodies look a certain way and face and he's a dermatologist and all these things, while those things are important to him, it was much more important to him this right here. Was I mentally prepared to have the lifestyle for long-term results because all of these are just tools guys these are just tools to help us on the journey i still have to eat right i still have to work out i still have to have water intake i still have to take vitamins i still have to eat salads i still have to take supplements because i'm 40 about to be 41 and the body just didn't absorb the same way that it did when i was 22. So picked Dr. Nico. I knew I liked him, but then I went to the third console. Walked in. It was very cold. Um, it wasn't warm at all. And I just was like, okay, God, I, I hear you. Went back for my second visit for Dr. Nico. 
and Allie, great team. They were like, oh my God, we want you to you know, do these videos and everything like that. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna take everybody on the journey. So in addition to this, um, you should see my video on Dr. Nico's page really, really soon. Um, I have a private group for people who want to go on the journey with me. This video is being made prior to the surgery uh, because once we have the surgery, then I'll be going live about the drains and cleaning and all this kind of stuff. And my daughter is enlisted. So you're going to see the raw of how I want when I go to pre-op. Well, the pre-op video is already done. But when I go to surgery that day, we're going to do a video. When I get home that night, I'm going to try to get my daughter to do a video if I'm lucid enough. Then we're gonna, just going to track the process. So you guys get to see inside of the group. I'm going to put a link down for you to be able to get access to that group so that you can see some of the things that I may not, you know, may not want to share real, real publicly because it's going to get graphic. But that is why I am doing a mommy makeover. So let me explain exactly what I'm getting. I am getting a lift and an implant because there's so much sagging. And I know you probably can't imagine this, but they literally sag to my stomach, y'all. Like they sag to my stomach. They sit on the top of my stomach and it's very gross. And it almost makes me want to, I'm choking up now because it just is so gross. I've done all this work and for them to be sitting on my stomach, I just don't like it. And so in order for him to put um, fullness back in my chest, here, let me see if I can bring this down so you guys can see. So like right here, there's no, look at there, it's flat. There's no hump. There's nothing. It's just flat skin. That's because it's all sagging down. So that's why he has to lift it because he has to cut the extra skin from the bottom. And then I have to have an implant because there's nothing here. It's so flat. So the implant is going to come up here to give me, you know, to give me, you know, a profile and lift them up so that they're sitting in their proper position um, so that, you know, I don't have back issues and those things. And then the second thing I'm getting is a, um, tell me something. I am getting a full tummy tuck um, from hip to hip. I am super nervous about that. Seriously, let me move this back up. I am super nervous about that. Super, super nervous about that. But um, I believe in my surgeon. His results are amazing. I feel comfortable in his hands. I talk to Allie probably every day, who is a patient coordinator, getting me ready, all of the pre stuff, the after stuff, everything. And I think I'm ready, guys. And I'm so excited to be taking you on this journey um, with everything. So that is why I am doing a mommy makeover because I don't like the skin that is left over after being obese for so many years. So I want this to help somebody in two specific ways. The first way is I want you to watch this video and know that it's okay to make a decision for you that's going to work for you to get the results you want abstract from anybody else the second thing i'm hoping to help you with is that by seeing my journey and by hearing me admit that i have a food addiction admit that i'm an emotional eater admit that i know what it is to go through a midlife crisis as literally i'm 40 that happened in 15 i was 35 when i had my midlife crisis i know what it is to you know go through all of these things and still make a decision that works for me i want to help you get to this level of confidence which is why i created my programs which is why i have this channel which is why i am sharing everything with you because i want you to get where i am i want you to be a solid whole healthy individual making decisions that work for you so if you've enjoyed this video i hope you will join um the journey and i hope you will subscribe and become a part of my family because this is where i'm going to be um from now until spirit says do something different so i hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope to see you inside the group i hope you will go um and get my freebie and i just hope that we can stay connected and i hope that everything that i do everything that i share everything that i teach blesses your life in some way you guys have an amazing day and i will see you at our next session Bye bye